Okay, a disliker type I'm getting around to. So this is a follow-up on the distractor. I said uh, previously in a video that there's a dis YouTube video disliker type that's similar to the distractor, uh, but slightly different. So I'm come up with the description and the name and I have both. And I've slept on it, wrote down, wrote down the description, you know, that kind of thing. Slept on it a few nights and I, it's settled. So I'm Tannis Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle. This is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. I've covered personality types for users who dislike YouTube videos before on this channel, Tannis Leonardi. Here I highlight one YouTube disliker type, the silencer. I hand wrote out my description and the name. So this is on the YouTube video disliker type, the silencer. So this is a person that dislikes video videos because the video got it right. And the disliker does not want that information out there, especially from the channel slash person, persons who published the information. I have encountered multiple people of this disliker type in in-person work settings, typically in the sense of abusing authority. I would guess this could be a positive thing as well as a negative thing, but I've <laughs> the, the clearest examples of my life have been abuses of authority. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there's times in life to keep quiet, so to speak, um, and, and topics and stuff. And um, so I would guess this could actually be positive as well as negative. I just have my experience being it coming from negative. Um, and so I've encountered this m multiple people, right? Um, and multiple uh, experiences, at least from at least one of those people. And so I'm going to highlight just one example I thought is kind of uh, that kind of describes the dynamic a bit. So the especially from the channel slash person persons who publish the information. Sometimes it, uh, that's like a fine-tuned aspect. The broad category is somebody just disliking a video, the silencer, disliking a video because they don't want the information out there. That's like the broad type. Within that, there's the type who especially do it when it's like they dislike the information's out there and they really, so this is like when they might, you know, have multiple accounts and gang up on a video kind of thing. Right. It would be they don't like the person who's posting it or the channel who's posting it kind of thing. Um, and so I was going to do an uh, example that focuses on both um, of the, the, the um, so I guess subtype, uh, subtype is especially from the channel um, disliking because of so I'm, I'm doing an elaboration of the subtype here disliking because of uh, yeah I have what I had was okay to begin with you gotta watch the video to get the nuance right? it adds value to having the video Let's stick with what I had okay so the example here is gonna be for my work experience in science. So I have five plus work experience years in aquatics and five plus work experience years in science. And in science, the this is something that um, kind of recurred, not necessarily at a high frequency, but did recur, is my supervisor submits a paper for review. There's something new that's being tested whether or not the insights are like all that great or not. And essentially some bigger, faster moving group at a different institution um, had somebody on their list of reviewers for the peer review. And then what happened was that person decided to delay submitting their review. So delay the person's review process and started working on my supervisor's idea. And so essentially by the time they submitted their reviews, they had taken my supervisor's idea, put it into work in their lab, acted on it, and they got a publication through before my supervisor because of unethical conduct, right? They delayed it so that it at the end date, theirs published first, even though my supervisor submitted it for review first. And the idea was my supervisor's not this other research group that copycatted, worked faster, got it out first, um, but they stole my supervisor's idea. So the silencers are also idea stealers. They're also copycats. You know, speaking from experience in science, right, having that happen 
to my research group and it happened a couple of times a few times two or more times um kind of so um in science this is a very common type um it happens i don't know if it happened like with the disliking as a key aspect of it for youtube channels i don't know there are people who do that same dynamic of they don't like somebody's video but then they take the concept and like try to publish before this other person who already filmed it and you know, that kind of stuff um there's a reason why I do same day content because of people <laughs> like this type <laughs> um, that did factor in. I was like, considering I'm coming from science, it would be wise to see if I could do same day content um, kind of thing. Uh, not a lot of people do same day content. Uh, not a lot of people have my work experience. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> if we include degrees and like what stage of, right, because I worked in a small lab, there were times where I was the only employee at a certain level. Um, or on a certain and on a certain project so there's the project got published so like there's nobody in existence <laughs> with the same work experience so, um it's part of the uniqueness of going through science is especially when things come out with a publication at the end is even if people go back through and do a topic they're not in that publishing order so chronology matters um in that industry so there we go on the youtube video just like her type the science